Hello my friends and welcome! In this episode I will show you something that is actually useful. I will repair my Xiaomi robot vacuum cleaner. I've had this vacuum cleaner for a few years and it worked great so far. But now it has a problem. It's working for a few seconds and then... Internal error. Please check and clean my filter. But what filter? Let's check the dust box. It has a brand new dust filter, so that's not it. What else? There is another symptom. If I use it on the lowest speed, it's working. But on silent mode, it doesn't have enough power. I need the help of my assistant. What? There are two more internal filters? Let's check them. I will dismantle this robot vacuum cleaner, so I'll start with the accessories. The bottom panel is held with these eight big screws. You need a Phillips screwdriver. This is the battery pack, it should be disconnected first. You need to push it a bit from this side and then lift it. The connector has a small clip, just squeeze it and unplug it. This is the motor for the corner brush or the side brush, it has three small screws. Next we have two big wheels with motors to remove. Each one is held in position with three small screws. This is the brush holder with motor included. It has two screws. I will be taking apart most of the components of this vacuum cleaner, so this video will help you to replace other faulty components as well. Next we have 1000 more screws to unscrew. Xiaomi really like their screws. Let's fast forward a bit. The top panel can be removed now and we can see the last components. My assistant is checking the mainboard. No problem here. And finally these are the two filters I was talking about earlier, but you can see that they are already cleaned. There is just a little dust on them. So what's the real problem? Well, I did some deep investigation, I searched on Reddit, and it turns out that the fan motor may be faulty. Which is this part right here. To order a new fan motor, you need to check the vacuum cleaner model number to be sure it's compatible, because there are lots of similar fan motors. I got a new fan motor, let's remove the old one. It has a small plastic frame, held down by two screws. They look exactly the same, except for the serial number of course. All I have to do now is connect back all the components. Don't forget the internal filters. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos, please check out my Patreon page. To make sure you don't mix or lose the screws, you can arrange each component with its own screws in order on a desk. Be careful with these two clamps when installing the top panel, they need to be pushed inside. Now I will install all the parts in reverse order, on fast forward of course.
Just a few more components and it's ready. Finally we can test it. Let's go directly with turbo mode. It passed the first obstacle and it's still working. After a few minutes the entire room is cleaned and you can see that it's still on turbo mode and there are no more errors. So the problem is fixed, the fan motor was faulty. If you have the same vacuum cleaner model and want to replace the fan motor, I added the purchase link in the video description. Thanks for watching this short video. If you enjoyed it, please share it, leave a comment below and I'll see you soon. Bye!